Hello dear learners, today I welcome you for lesson 2 of chapter 3 that is courses. Here is the contact information. If you face any difficulty during this lesson, you can contact. The learning outcomes of today's lesson are that you should be able to state what is meant by Newton's first law of motion. You should be able to state what is meant by Newton's second law of motion. You should be able to describe the effects of balanced forces and unbalanced forces on a body. The contents which we are going to cover in today's lesson are that what is Newton's first law of motion, Newton's second law of motion, effects of balanced and unbalanced forces on a body, and then practice question. Newton's First law of motion says that every object will continue in its state of rest or of uniform motion. So here we are saying about two states. One is rest and other one is uniform motion. So Newton first law of motion states that Every object will continue in its state of rest or of uniform motion unless a resultant force acts on it. Means if a body is at rest, it will remain at rest unless a resultant force acts on it. Or you can say a body is moving uniformly, it will move uniformly unless a resultant force acts on it. If you see here, this football is at rest, will remain at rest unless a net force or, or you can say a resultant force acts on it. And this football is in motion. An object in motion will remain in motion unless a net force acts on it. This football will not stop, will not come in rest position unless or until any net force will not act on it because it is already in motion. This is already in rest. It will not change its state unless or until a net force will not act on it. If you see here, this football is at rest, will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. This unbalanced force is actually your resultant force. If you see a boy or a person is going to kick this football, so there will be some resultant force which is going to act on it and it is also going to be your unbalanced force and what will happen? An object in motion will continue with constant speed. This rest obje object will come in motion when unbalanced force is acted on it and what will happen an object in motion will continue with constant speed and direction unless or until acted on by an force and now here the force is going to be act from the opposite side if an object is in motion then the force which is going to change its state from motion to rest, that force must be present in opposite direction. Resultant force, we are talking here for resultant force. Resultant force is also known as net force or you can say a total force. Suppose if resultant force or net force is greater than zero, then the object will change its motion in the direction of the net force. If the net force is greater than zero, we also say that there is unbalanced force. Later on, we will see. Why I said here that when net force is greater than zero, we will say that there is unbalanced force because here we have seen in the example that the object is in motion. Why? Because un uh, unbalanced force is acted on this football. Newton's second law of motion 
states that when a resultant force acts on an object of constant mass means that resultant force is going to act on a constant mass of an object the object will accelerate obviously when force is going to be act on a constant mass that object will accelerate in the direction of the resultant force if resultant force is acting towards right direction right side direction that that object will move or accelerate in the direction of right hand side so we can say the product of mass and acceleration of the object gives you the resultant force if you see mathematically newton second law of motion can be represented as f is equal to ma where f is representing your resultant force or you can say the force which is going to be applied on that object and it is in newton mass of the object and a is your acceleration of object newton second law of motion tells us that a resultant force on an object produces an acceleration obviously we have already discussed here the object will accelerate in the direction of resultant force when when a resultant force acts on an object if we double the resultant force doubling the resultant force on an object doubles its acceleration if you see this mathematical relation what is happening this resultant force is directly proportional to this acceleration as this force is going to be increased or double this acceleration will also be increased with the same resultant force if we are acting applying same resultant force but the mass of the object is doubled then what happens the acceleration will be half acceleration will be decreased with the same resultant force doubling the mass half the acceleration let's move towards whiteboard to see these three scenarios that when resultant force is going to act on an object which and uh, what will happen acceleration will be there and if the resultant the force is doubled how the acceleration is going to be doubled if you see here on whiteboard i am going to draw a box and that box is going to represent an object suppose this is a, an object of mass m of mass m the mass of the object is m i am applying some force or any person is applying some force in this direction towards right hand side this is force i say force or resultant force f is applied to this mass what will happen this object will accelerate will move in this direction this object of mass m will move in this direction towards the right hand side because the force or the resultant force is acting towards right hand side now again i take the same object but i increases its mass the mass of the object is now suppose it is doubled or increased i say now the mass of the object is m2 means m2 is representing that it is twice of the previous mass if now i apply the same force same force the force which i have applied for object having mass m and same force or same resultant force i am applying to this object 
which is having twice mass now double mass what will happen now the acceleration will be less will decrease because we are applying the same force the force which were which we were applying for this object and what will happen now the object is heavier so it is difficult to accelerate this object with same amount of force which we applied for the object of having mass m so what we have to do if we want to accelerate it more we have to apply more force so this is the scenario which is this one that what happens if we double the mass with the same resultant force the acceleration will be less or you can say it will be half of the previous one so uh, that's about Newton's second law of motion. Now I am moving towards balanced force. Balanced forces are equal forces acting on an object in opposite direction. Suppose we have an object and two persons are applying force on that object and both are in opposite direction, then what will happen? They are applying force in opposite direction and suppose they are applying equal forces then what will happen those two forces will cancel out and there will be no resultant force and that force is known as balanced force. If you see in other words if the resultant force acting on an object is zero resultant force acting on an object is zero we say that balanced force forces acting on the object here is the example if you see football is uh, placed on ground what happens ground is applying some force in the upward direction and football is applying some force towards the ground and why it is because weight of the ball is there so it is applying force towards the downward direction so both of these forces are of same magnitude but opposite in magnitude so they will cancel out and object will remain at rest. Similarly here if you see book is placed on the table and weight of the book is applying force towards downwards and table is applying some reaction force in the upward direction and these forces are of same magnitude they will be cancelled out because they are in the opposite direction in the above example the forces are equal but acting in the opposite directions therefore the resultant force is zero and the object remains stationary as the object is at rest its acceleration is zero now suppose if the scenario is like this that a person is pushing this trolley and pushing force is acting on this trolley and this trolley is in contact with the floor with the surface as well so contact force will be acting there and that will be here friction force what happens the person is applying pushing force but that pushing force is somehow equal to the friction force as this person will stop applying the pushing force or you can say as the person is going to remove this pushing force what will happen the overall resultant force will now be friction force and which will make this trolley to change its state of motion to the rest if you see here the forces are equal but acting in the opposite directions therefore the resultant force is zero but the object is in motion as the pushing force is removed the object will come at rest so why it is happening that it is going to change its state because this force is equal to this friction force but it is in opposite direction as this force is going to be removed what will happen the object will come at rest if you see here one more example related to balanced force 
a game tug of war with equally matched teams on either side is an example of balanced force in this the ro rope does not move as equal and opposite force is applied from each side they are also applying the same force and they are also applying the same force for, so both forces are same but in opposite direction so it is also a an, an example of balanced force so here you can see balanced force no movement it is in rest so no acceleration is acting on no acceleration is there unbalanced force unbalanced forces are unequal forces acting on an object now we are seeing unequal forces acting on a, on an object not equal forces are acting here which causes it to move remember th this thing that whenever there is an unbalanced force or unequal forces acting on any object what will happen that object will cause to move there will be a movement an unbalanced force always cause a change in motion in other words if the resultant force acting on an object is not zero obviously it will not be zero now because forces are unequal then we will say the forces acting on the object are unbalanced here are here is one example if you see now the pushing force is more as compared to the friction force what will happen the applied force is more than the friction force so if the applied force is now removed the trolley or object is still in motion the object will remain still remain in motion but what will happen there will be a change in motion might be that motion is going to be decreased now only friction is the resultant force that causes the object to decelerate because change in motion is going to occur it will be decelerate and eventually stop so this is your unbalanced force which is acting to acting on this trolley one more example is what is happening two uh, persons are applying some force on their on each other's hand what is happening the left force is more the person this one is applying left force is more than the right force this is the left person who is applying force the resultant force that causes the hand to move is left force so the th 3 newton force is applied by right and 6 newton is applied by left so if you take out the resultant from here the 3 newton force which is applied by the left will be more here is one more example again related to tug of war a game with unequal matched teams now unequal matched teams are on either sides what will happen rope will move towards the team which will apply more force so if you see this they are applying more force so they are moving towards them so here what is happening unequal unbalanced or unequal forces or unequal match teams are there so unbalanced force is acting here similarly if you see this seesaw on this end no one is here no one is sitting so mass on this end is more so force here is more so it is also an unbalanced scenario same as this here the weight is less as compared to this so it is also an unbalanced force here are practice questions question one what can you deduce about the resultant force acting on an object that is moving at constant speed in a straight line so what will happen if an object is moving at constant speed in a straight line it means 
balanced force or resultant force is zero there or balanced force is acting there okay it is uh, relating to newton's first law and what will happen about the resultant force acting on an object that is accelerating accelerating if you now recall that mathematical relationship where acceleration was included f is equal to ma now a is increasing so it means applied force or you can say resultant force is also increasing here so it is uh, what happening newton second law is going to be applied here and here the resultant force acting on an object is more as compared to the previous resultant force question 2 an object is initially moving at constant speed means initially the object was moving with constant speed no variation in the speed is coming after a while it starts to starts to accelerate means speed is going to be increased use newton's laws of motion to explain this situation it is very much clear as in question 1 a part we said that it is moving with constant speed so here initially it is moving at constant speed so newton first law is applicable and what newton first law says that you have to write in the explanation and after a while it starts to accelerate what happens newton second law is going to be applicable here and you have to explain this situation according to that both of these questions are somehow similar question 3 an unloaded van has an acceleration of f uh, 5 meter per second sphere a fully loaded van weighs twice so unloaded van has an acceleration which is given to us and fully loaded van weighs twice now we have loaded van and weight of that van is twice of this unloaded as much as unloaded van if the for forward thrust on both vans is the same so it means applied force on both the fans is same what is the acceleration of the fully loaded van so here we have to find out acceleration of the loaded van what you can do here you can say f is equal to m a a is known when the situation is for unloaded van so it will be f is equal to 5m and here we have twice of mass you can say it will be uh, f is equal to 2a you can uh, equate these two equations 5m is equal to uh, 2a and in this way you can uh, find out here here what you have to do you have to actually equate the equations for uh, two scenarios that is for unloaded van and for loaded van okay that's for all that's all for today's lesson if you have any question do let me know thank you and do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button